Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have a very much interesting video for you today. So in this video I will talk about an Android app. Yes, and the name of the app is Document Scanner or Doc Scanner you can say. Now this is a great replacement for the Cam Scanner and that is the Chinese based document scanning software. And in the Doc Scanner specifically uh, what I'm talking about it is actually you can use freely but of course the uh, premium features are also there but the most important thing about this app that with its free version it provides you a lot of features okay some interesting features that are only available in the paid option uh, in, in compared to some other apps like this okay so in this video I will talk about all the features of it Okay, so don't skip any part of this video because this is very very interesting very very useful for your day-to-day -day life if you are new to my channel then make sure you subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon and you like the video and also check my playlist lot of interesting videos are there in the playlist you must check that okay so without further delay let's jump into our main topic okay guys so first of all I'm going to the Play Store Google Play Store and here you have to search for the doc scanner so doc scanner i'm searching and this is the thing you can see this is the doc scanner right and this is uh, you have to download i have already downloaded it i'm just opening this app and you can see now this app actually uh, shows some little bit of ads okay and uh, not a great issue because it only shows the banner ads okay up and down okay but no full screen ad or video ads are there right so it's not uh, it's not that much annoying okay so and if you turn off the internet so no ads will be there and now uh, first of all i will show you guys that how you can scan any document and edit uh, that scan okay for for uh, some purpose okay suitable for you okay so first of all you can see uh, this is the camera button and this is the gallery button that means if you have already an image downloaded in your gallery then you can uh, click here and add this image okay to make some pdfs or and all that and scanning and uh, if you want to actually take pictures new pictures so just uh, click this icon okay so you can see this is a book okay so i want to scan one page of it and so i am scanning it now you can see this is a tilted uh, way tilted view but no problem uh, doc, doc scanner will adjust it automatically so i'm just taking the picture and you can see doc scanner automatically detects a, a boundary okay uh, by its artificial intelligence and i can and adjust uh, these settings uh, or these borders right to properly cover up the page okay so i think it's good and now uh, i want to uh, now the click continue right and you can choose also the color so which color you uh, you can you can choose basically uh, different colors are there but this is a black and white page so uh, no color is there okay i'm just showing you some color later okay so first of all so all things are default so continue so you can see the tilted view is now a perpendicular view that is the perfect view perfect uh, front view uh, you can see and amazingly uh, image uh, you can see here right so and also I am just showing you guys and if this picture is not uh, good uh, to you then you can uh, retake that means take a new picture again of this page okay and I am uh, now uh, showing you guys a color picture uh, so it was front page of this book so I am going to back okay and I am taking another picture okay so you can see I don't know some shadow is coming oh from this phone okay so uh, some reflections are there of light so picture may be not that good but I can show you guys okay so it has uh, selected the thing but I can adjust with my hand you can see so I can adjust the things and now continue and basically you can see now click here okay now you can see uh, this is the picture so this is very much a good picture now you can adjust you can adjust uh, various things okay uh, suppose edit 
just click edit and now okay this uh, thing I have to edit a little bit all right and then click next okay and then uh, color filter so you can choose different colors so vibrant is default and this is the original one and this is the soft tone and this is uh, another color and also some other colors you can see some black and white if you want black and white okay so a lot of colors you are getting all right and so click just uh, right and here also you can rotate you can see you can rotate or uh, you can erase tool you have erasing something right and signature you can add signature and also watermark you can give a text watermark here you can double click here and add a text and text watermark you can add and that text uh, can be uh, editable uh, is editable by these options okay color and alignment and all that okay so you can edit those things and also some text you can add you can add some text also and you can highlight the thing okay so you can highlight also and also uh, erase the thing right whatever you have done you can erase the things and uh, some doodle you can see and also uh, copy uh, copy uh, some section of it you can do that and also in the more button and here basically you can adjust some brightness contrast and saturation exposure all right and also uh, you can insert a picture from this option and also the overlay is very good in the overlay you can see how various things right so first of all i am going to that image right and here overlay effect now you can see the overlay effect it's really nice right so background <laughs> is changed okay and all the text are above the background you can say this is an amazing effect so you can see this is the overlay and it looks amazingly good okay and you can you can see that right and also you can adjust its opacity or uh, intensity you can say so overlay effect is very much good you can see and now uh, if it is done then just click the right uh, and uh, now it is saved and now you can actually directly share uh, your scan document uh, either share only this file that's mean, that means uh, this file this front page either you share this or share entire document that is the two pages okay these uh, two pages so if I share entire document so you know the two pages are there and here also you can uh, change the document name here right so you can change the document name. suppose I am giving the name book okay and either you can choose PDF or JPG okay but PDF is a good option you can see because PDF you can uh, enable password protection if you turn it on so uh, it will uh, actually uh, prompt you to the password section so you can uh, type any password right and uh, basically you can type any password suppose I am giving password one two three confirm password one two three now you can remember in your device or you can't remember no problem with that and hit ok and then you can share uh, in the whatsapp or telegram or whatever uh, social media or <laughs> some email uh, you can do that and searchable pdf with ocr text if you enable this basically this actually uh, enables you uh, uh, the pdf to detect all the text right so text are actually uh, detected by this option okay so you can create actually uh, the premium PDFs like this and also you can create a zip file with this PDF and also you can compress the uh, memory uh, that means you can compress the PDF so you can see here is a compress option and you click here and you can see currently the size is 1.42 MB so if I drag this to high to uh, suppose here and you can see okay the memory is reduced right so coming to the good okay you can see it is further reduced okay so basically you can uh, like this you can compress the PDF 
uh, very easily and then you can directly share it and so you can now share it and share with the, any of the available option in the telegram or whatsapp you can see some gmail okay and whatever uh, uh, things whatever app you have installed you can uh, share those things okay so that's uh, very very much easy now i will show you guys that what are the manipulating tools pdf manipulating right so you can see uh, this is uh, an option here and when you click here you can see pdf tools now these tools are really amazing now you can open pdf and view pdf okay and also you can add or merge pdf files suppose you have two or more pdf files and you uh, want to merge them in a single pdf so you can do that and when you click here basically you have to uh, select uh, multiple pdfs like this just uh, uh, just uh, touch and hold so you can uh, like this you can select and then if you if you click here basically uh, select and so you can see all the PDF uh, it is scanning okay and it, it is showing that PDF merge successfully okay so that's that's a very awesome thing okay so like this you can merge PDFs and also uh, showing some other options Okay, now you can split PDF also. Suppose you have a big PDF, okay, and you want to uh, split it in parts, so you can do that also. And also PDF to image, so this is very good thing. And image to PDF, you can make, make PDF from an image if you have some, uh, suppose a photo or some document, okay, and um, in the JPG or PNG format, uh, that is the uh, photo format, and you want to uh, create a PDF, so you can do that. And text to PDF and share is a long image and pdf to text and pdf to zip file with some uh, protected password okay you can do all these things and also pdf page adjustments so this is also uh, really good uh, pdf page adjustment just uh, i'm uh, going there and suppose i am just uh, opening this Well, and you can see a very, a very nice interface of the page reset or a, a page shuffling. You can see now you can actually drag the pages. So you and you can see the page numbering is there one, two, three, four, and five, right? And suppose from the four, I want to go to the one, it's the first page. So just drag it and now you can see now can see one two three four okay so like this you can do that basically you can you can shuffle the pages okay you can you can rearrange uh, the pages you can see and that's very much easy to do right and also you can select and you can drag this here so basically like this you can uh, adjust the uh, pages of the pdfs as as you need okay so that's an and that's an awesome thing and and after that you just you know, done and it will be ready okay so that's that's very much interesting thing so all these uh, pdf tools uh, you are getting okay so that's amazing thing uh, because all things you are getting free okay free of course and also you can compress pdf okay if you have any pdf and you want to compress the memory of it so you can do that basically and uh, i'm showing you guys all right so you can see uh, this is the size of the pdf 2.41 mb and also so i if i uh, drag this and here uh, so you can see the uh, the memory will be reduced just wait all right you can see the memory has been reduced now it is uh, 1.59 mb and then you can uh, share it uh, uh, share it uh, with your friends or whatever okay so so very easy okay not very hard okay so all these things uh, you can do that and also you can uh, remove some password okay if your pdf has some password so you can remove that right and uh, now all these things are basically and also you can you can print from here okay and uh, 
and also uh, talking about some settings now now you can see all, all these options are there and uh, uh, frequently asked question you can you can see here and also QR scanner is there okay so you can uh, scan the QR codes okay from here from this uh, app and also QR generator so you can generate some QR code also okay you can create a signature either handwritten or you can uh, scan some signature and uh, all these things you can see and uh, now uh, coming to the settings now you can see uh, you can change the theme okay a lot of themes are some some are paid but uh, some are free okay so free themes are here you can see some free themes are here okay and uh, now you can see now PDF settings and you can see these are the default PDF settings so you can uh, add some PDF uh, a page margin and PDF page size orientation portrait or landscape and also you can give a watermark all these settings basically are uh, a default setting when you when you create thing a PDF uh, these settings will be applied by default okay so header and footer settings are also there so you can see the headers and footer uh, all settings you can see the page numbering right and uh, many more things you can see here font settings and all the text size and all that all these are header footer settings so a lot of settings you are getting uh, with this app so it's an amazingly uh, built app okay and uh, many features you are getting uh, in, uh, free okay and uh, okay so basically all all these uh, i have today okay and uh, if uh, this video is helpful for you and this if you like this app so basically hit the like button of the video and also you must subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos okay so thanks for watching guys this video and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye